Hello, and welcome to the assembly video for the open source stair climbing robot. My name is Gregory Crummel, and I'm a robotics researcher at the Maryland Robotics Center. For any additional information, please refer to the CAD and written instructions. To start off, I would like to recommend laying out the parts on the table with like parts next to each other. This will simplify locating each part while assembling each section of the robot. To start leg assembly, remove each part listed on the screen and place them in an open workspace. Select one lower leg and two lower leg 45 pieces. Notice that the lower leg has a slender, flexible tab, allowing parts to slide around the positioning tabs. Slide the lower leg into the smaller slot of the lower leg 45 piece, as shown. Slide the elbow arm into the other lower leg 45 slot, once again carefully flexing the slender tab to angle the part into the slot. This method will be used with any part with flexible tabs. Similar to before, slide the other side of the lower leg and elbow arm into the other lower leg 45 piece. Insert the SM servo horn into the recessed area. If the horn does not fit, verify that the smaller servo horn and the piece with the smaller horn recess is chosen. If the horn is slightly larger than the recess, lightly sand or file the horn into the correct size. Insert the spline of the SM servo into the servo horn, with the horn pointing away from the body of the servo. Place an elbow side piece flush with the side of the servo, with the long slender slots positioned on the top and bottom of the servo, and flush with the back of the servo wings. Place the elbow servo front piece in the slot in front of the servo, so its hole is in line with the servo axis. Insert the upper leg piece into the remaining wide slot pointing away from the lower leg assembly. Attach the remaining elbow side piece on the other side of the servo, aligned in the same orientation as before. Insert the elbow servo tabs in the remaining slots, once again flexing the two sides to fit inside the slot. These tabs look similar to the shoulder servo tabs, but are shorter in length. Insert the high-tech servo horn into the recessed area. Insert the high-tech servo into the servo horn, with the servo body extending away from the servo horn. Locate the shoulder side and shoulder side geared pieces. Notice that the shoulder side geared piece has three additional holes. Place the shoulder side geared piece on one side of the servo, aligning the slender slots around the servo and flush behind the servo wings as before. Insert the shoulder servo front into the wide slot once again aligning the hole with the servo shaft axis. Place the shoulder side piece on the other side of the servo, aligned in the same orientation as the shoulder side geared. Slide the shoulder servo tabs into the remaining slender slots, with the pronged end towards the servo side geared. Insert the steel threaded inserts into the center holes until the flanges are flush with the shoulder side plate surface. These should be inserted into the shoulder side plates with light taps of a hammer before attaching the plates. Align the shoulder gears so the three holes are in line with the three unused holes in the shoulder side plate. Screw three 540 by 1 half inch screws into these holes so the gear is parallel with the shoulder side plate and flush against the threaded insert. Repeat these steps to assemble three more legs. One leg will be an exact duplicate of the leg you just made. The other two legs will be similar, but the shoulder side and shoulder side gear will be reversed, the shoulder servo tabs will be reversed, and the shoulder gear and screws will again be attached to the shoulder side gear. To start body assembly, move the body to an open workspace. Select a shoulder support piece, as shown, and insert the piece into a wide slot on the outside edges of each corner. Repeat this step for the other seven shoulder supports. Move the parts listed on the screen to an open workspace. Take the servo gear and insert the SM servo horn into the recess. Attach the servo gear to the servo so the gear teeth are facing away from the body of the servo. Slide the shoulder servo holder onto the servo until the holder is flush with the servo wings. For extra security, use the long screws from the servo pack to fasten the servo to the holder with the four provided holes. Slide the shoulder servo holder plane onto the servo until the holder is just beyond the servo cable. Insert the servo assembly into the two parallel thin slots near the center of the body so the gear teeth are facing away from the center of the body. Repeat these steps for three more servo assemblies. 
One will be an exact duplicate of the one you just made, and the other two will have the servo mirrored left to right, and the shoulder servo holder plane mirrored left to right. The shoulder servo assemblies should all have the gears facing away from the center of the body, and the tabs on the shoulder servo holder plane align close to the center of the body. Select the shoulder underbelly tabs and insert them through the slender slots of both shoulder servo holder pieces. Select the six male-female aluminum standoffs and insert them into the six holes along the inner edge of the body. Select the underbelly plates and align the holes with the aluminum standoffs. The sides with the recessed areas should face away from the body. Screw an 832 by 1 half inch screw into each hole to fasten the plates. The plates should each have one side longer than the other. These two longer parts should be facing the same direction, which will become the front of the robot. Now that the body parts are in place, move the pre-built legs into the open cutouts near the corners of the body. The gear for the shoulder should fit inside the slight notch in these cutouts, and the gear should mesh so the legs are straight out at the shoulder. Insert the 516 shoulder screws into the shoulder supports, with the half inch shoulder screw on the side with the gear, and the quarter inch shoulder screw on the other side of the leg. The screw should slide and turn smoothly in the shoulder supports. If not, drill, file, or sand the holes carefully until a proper bearing is created. Place the Arduino plate piece so the slots align to and allow insertion of the posts on the shoulder servo holder plane. Place the Arduino so the attachment holes align with the Arduino plate holes. Attach the Arduino with 440 by 9 16 inch screws and nuts. It may be easier to place the nut over the Arduino hole and screw up through the plate. Slide two 6 volt nickel metal high drive batteries in between the slender slots in front of the body and again on the back of the body between the similar slots. Slide the elastic strap through the slots and tighten the strap until the batteries are secure. Make sure the batteries are near the edge of the frame so they do not interfere with the gears. Select the six female-female aluminum standoffs and screw them onto the threads protruding from the male-female standoffs in the frame. Place the top frame so the six perimeter holes, one on each corner and one on the edges near the middle, are aligned with the threaded standoffs. The side-by-side -side large circular holes should be at the back of the robot, as shown. Install 832 screws into each standoff aligned hole to fasten the top frame. Align the ultrasonic plates with the two parallel slots at the front of the top frame. Insert the ultrasonic front plate between the ultrasonic plates so the holes are positioned as shown. Slide the ultrasonic plates into the slots. Slide the ultrasonic tab into the slots above the frame. Place the ultrasonic sensor aligned with the plate holes and fasten the sensor with 256 screws and lock nuts. Slide the 9 volt holders into the parallel slots near the back and slide the 9 volt holder tab into the holder slots. Slide the 9 volt battery into the holder so it is facing towards the center of the robot. Slide or screw the small switch into the side hole to control Arduino power. Slide the two large dual switches into the large circular holes near the back to control power to the sides of the robot. This concludes the physical construction of the robot. Please refer to the written manual for detailed instructions and tips for wiring the robot. In order to get basic walking, stair climbing, and sensing functions, please download the code provided to the Arduino through the open source Arduino software at arduino.cc slash en slash main slash software.